Hey guys, I just wanted to inform you that iOS 7.1 is coming and earlier today, Apple released the first iOS 7.1 beta. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little overview of what's changed, you know, what's new and whether or not it is a worthy upgrade to iOS 7.0.4. And then I'm going to show you how to install it if you guys so wish. And just so you know, you can downgrade if you do wish to update. Now, this is a developer's preview, so obviously it's still in beta. However, I have noticed it's actually really speedy. There's quite a bit of improvement, so here we go. So the guy that works at Apple and finally spoke up and said, hey, maybe our keyboard is hurting people's eyes at night. I congratulate you. Finally, thank you for making Apple add a dark keyboard. What pissed me off, and I got to say pissed me off in iOS 7 was the bright white keyboard that would hurt my eyes no matter how low I would put the screen setting at night. So with the addition of a new setting in accessibility and settings, you can now enable a dark keyboard. So thank you so much for adding this Apple. Now the keyboard is probably the biggest change in this update. The rest are minor tweaks. So if you go into the notifications menu, now you get this text in the background that actually says no missed notifications, whereas on iOS 7.0.4 and below there'd be nothing. So very minor, but welcome nonetheless. Also in accessibility, if you enable bold text, you no longer are required to reboot your iPhone. So very minor, but it's convenient because you don't have to restart your iPhone every single time you do that. You'll notice that if you open the camera application, the HDR is yellow. So that goes both for HDR and the flash. When it is enabled, it will highlight in yellow. I personally wouldn't recommend that you update right now, maybe on beta 2, beta 3. However, if you like what you see and you want to update, you guys will need to download the IPSW file using a torrent link and then go ahead and select option and left click update. Do not left click restore. That will make it impossible to activate. So you left click update and your device will update to the latest iOS 7.1. Let me know what you guys think Apple should add in the next beta. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Peace.